Working span tasks are used to measure someone's working memory. The most famous example of this is George Miller's magical number 7 discovery. 7 is his proposed limit on the number of items that can be stored in working memory. Although different theories exist about the causes of this limit to our working memory capacity, the idea that there is a limit on the amount of information that can be recalled after a short delay remains a primary focus. Working memory is the workspace of the mind. It is a system for accessing goal-relevant information as needed to support complex cognition. There are several different variations of this task that can be used to test working span. They include the reading span and counting span task, later followed by operation span and spatial span. These tasks involve a short presentation of to-be-remembered stimuli with a processing task. The number of items that individuals can remember in these tasks is thought to reflect the working memory limits. Chincada and Underwood conducted an experiment in 1997 to measure the digit span of working memory. Sets of random digit sequences were constructed to measure digit span. There were two conditions, articulatory suppression and non-articulatory suppression. In the articulatory suppression condition, participants repeated the phrase la la while trying to remember a set of numbers. After the sequence was finished, participants were prompted to recall the digits. The results indicated that the articulatory suppression reduced the working memory span by about a third to four or five items. This effect is seen because participants could not use the articulatory rehearsal loop since they were having to say la la. Hey, are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only fan I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Do they really can I stay here and study with you? Yeah, yeah sir. Sure. I'm actually getting ready to leave, but don't okay, be Oh, well, I think we have the same class together. We should study together sometime. Okay. My phone number is 555. Oh, okay, I don't understand you say it again. 555 696 7781. Okay, I got it. Alright, sounds good. See you later. Hey, do you know what the student union is? Um, I think it's that way, but I gotta go, sorry. Uh, uh, oh, there's my friend. What was his number? After getting the cute guy's number, my working memory tries to use the articulatory rehearsal loop to keep the number in his temporary storage until I get by my phone. Unfortunately, this was interrupted by the girl who asked directions to the union, which caused me to stop rehearsing the number. By the time I found my phone, I realized that I'd forgotten the cute guy's number. This demonstrates the short-term nature and the limited capacity of the working system.